I don't care how great it is. You cannot allow your children your, to be doing certain things that's going to end up causing them to make bad decisions. And you think it's all right. Because you don't have that spiritual aspect of it. You know what I mean? Look at your name still working with. Ain't that real? And, and cause, why? Because you, because you, you be a spiritual attack and end up in places you don't even know you, how you got there. Influences. Demons are influences. They influence you. And the more you get influenced, the more you turn. Y'all know, the majority of your children, you ain't raise them like that, but that's how they is. Why is that? Because they have influences. Demonic influences. <laughs> and if you can't put your hand on it, and because you didn't recognize the spiritual aspects, and you recognize the natural aspect, and you made some bad decisions because you didn't look at the spiritual aspect. Y'all know, and some things you're trying to save, you're making it worse. Ain't y'all good? Y'all with me? Ooh, look at y'all look at How do you win the problem? How do you win the problem, Rianne? You don't have that problem, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> now y'all act like y'all don't know. Y'all know what happened to the problem, right? You don't know what happened to the problem. You win the problem. Who win the problem? Mama, I let you win it. She knew what happened from. <laughs> you want a problem? What happened at problem? Some of you get a big mic in the Ain't that real stuff? Yeah. And your child wanna go to problem without you. I'm gonna be your dad. Thank <laughs> you. 
you. <laughs> and even then, you should have some experience. <laughs> And you allow these things to go because you don't know that they're demonic. They influence. By the same spirit that influence you, is it influencing you. And you ain't doing nothing about it. The same spirit that is in your family is still in your family. And you ain't doing nothing. Because you don't recognize the spiritual. That when people see something, I just I see the same thing. I can look at something. Let me get them because I'm going to tell them something. I shouldn't be telling you. But I can look at my great and see that same demon. Different person, the same demon. That same demon, man. By me knowing the demon spirit. Say, same demon, you know, same demon, you know, same demon, you know, that's the same people. That's the same name. And their parents knew what happened and they didn't do nothing about it. Because you're not looking at things. You look at it naturally. You look at it just like the world. But I don't want to stop from doing it. Well, I don't want to stop from doing it. I don't want to be them doing it as a kid. I don't care what the kid. What happened to you? That demon was the one who got you to do some things that now when you look back at you know it wasn't none of you because you know you would have never done that. But you did it because you was influenced. <clears throat> oh, glory to God. And you let the same thing go on to my, you. I'm going to have a party and I'm going to have, y'all know the party with the porch. Y'all know about the party, do you? Y'all know about the porch. I know y'all know about the porch. And the one always bring the bag when we always sneak around the side. Give us some of that and put that in there. You all know about that, don't you? Come in the eyes looking like, hey, mama. <laughs> That's a good point you made. What you put in it? <laughs> Got nothing to do with points. And you still talking about the points now. Without supervision. I'm going to call the city police and have them all over the floor. I had a lot of city police all around. The security guards going in and checking the points. Check that point. No, they can't break this restart the stock because. <laughs> have people at the, at the, at the bathroom door. Because y'all know what goes up in the bathroom. Boy, you're right. One person at a time. That's coming up against you, the came up against you, and you're familiar with that you really could detect them and stop them before they destroy them, make cause them the damage. And you ain't doing nothing about it. Because you want your children to be like every other child. When you know what you was against, and you know you all know what that is. You know what? See, I got the revival coming this week, so I can talk to you. And I'm talking, it's all mine's are all gone. I ain't got no jury. <laughs> so right, I'm talking about jury. You can't raise the wrong jury. The wrong you can't raise the wrong. Can I tell you all this one? Can I get the word? LT got born at 13. I think about 13 when I didn't go. The <laughs> <laughs> demons don't care how old you is. Demons don't care how old you are. You got to pray over your kids and bring spirit, power, and all those. I don't care what they hear you. You need to be doing that yourself. That should be something you do all the time anyway. Because when they go to daycare, different places, and deal with stuff, man, those people out there for real. And they try to catch them when they know. You see? But see, we're not aware of stuff like that. So it say that people of darkness are more violent than the people of light. Because we allow stuff to go on and we don't pay no attention. You know they didn't get it from you. Well, they might have. But anyway, you know they didn't get it from you. Right? So they got it. They got it from someone. So what y'all want to do? Y'all ain't like y'all want to. I'm going to put this point serious. You got to start watching for these forces coming against your babies, your kids.
You got to be there. We are spiritual people. You got demons on you. Don't mean they got to be on them. Amen. It ain't too late for you. And until you recognize you're being demonized and you got spirits dealing with you dealing with, don't let them do it. You see what it did to your life. Or trying to do your life. The thoughts coming out of suicide, spirit thoughts, giving up thoughts. Don't be ignorant to the devil devices. Pressure of life, trying to survive. That's that stuff that and being demonized at the same time. Trying to pay bills, trying to make it. Y'all you know, with me?
You got to go today. You got to do something.
He commanded them to leave. Because God wants you to live in joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. There's some things there that don't belong in your life. I don't care what you've done. The way you believe in Jesus you begin to say you got to go and at least my life because it entraps your whole life nothing works nothing works it get better but it don't work it's just survive and when you just survive you've been oppressed by a force of doubt but you have to recognize Jesus didn't die for me to suffer like this. He want me to be free. To have life more abundantly. Come on, put your hands together for that. It's going to be awesome to die. I had a sermon, I was going to get him this time if I want. See, I was looking at my...